Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Happy Valentine's Day out there, folks. Give a lot of love. Get a lot of love. Love is unconditional. And love, there are no conditions. You love for no reason, with no justification. You are free to be what you are, and you allow others to be what they are. Try that again. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 66, NASDAQ up 135, S&P's up 28. Gold, gold contract down $3.20 straight into 2004 an ounce. We have silver up 24 cents, $22.39 an ounce. A late sweet crude down a buck 34. $76.53 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note, trading up 11 ticks at 109.31. The 30 year uh, up 16 at 118.15 in King Dollar. King Dollar trading down 200 and, we did disappear? 242 ticks. 104.718, the euro at 107, the yen's at 150, and the British pound's at 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you had the CPI come out yesterday. Market trades down high. Every indice, just right across the board. It didn't matter what you had. Everything's down. So we take a look at the SPY. What we have is this. Right now, the SPY is up 320, doing 47 million shares. You gotta, we got to bring you back to the last downdraft here, okay? Because the last downdraft, my take is that's, that's what we're going to go test. And this is in the SPY, so this is an easy way to figure it out. I just had a question, do you think it's going to be a 10% correction? And I don't. The reason I don't is what I'm going to show you right now. And this is only about a 3% correction from probably where we are right now is that what you have is this, is that you came off the high, okay? We know we've been stretching it beyond belief, okay? But bottom line is you, you come off the high. You come off the high with big volume, okay? 103 million shares. But the high volume high out here is 124 million shares. So we didn't even make it to the high of the high volume bar. And the high volume bar, the top of that bar is the 489, the bottom of that bar is uh, 482. So when you have something like this, the first thing that normally happens is you get the bounce. The bounce is on light volume, okay? You get a little more of a bounce, I suspect, and then it's going to somehow try to fire off again and come down into the 482, 489 to 482 level. Now, that scenario there, folks, okay, is a bullish scenario. That's a bullish scenario. Now let me give you the bearish scenario. This would be the bearish scenario. The bearish scenario goes like this. The bearish scenario would be that you go back up to these highs, and as you're crawling back up to these highs, each and every time we, we get higher, that volume drops off again. Because what that would be doing is that that would be building cause, because if it takes too long to do that, that's actually building cause, I know it's deviant, for a bigger expansion on the way down. So the, just to go over it again, the quicker that you get this fight off to the downside, the more bullish it is. The longer that if we come back up, let's just pitch it, let's pitch it, it shakes it all off, it comes back up, it says, hey man, I don't care, I'm going up there, if you get up there with light volume, then that changes everything because that's too much cause being built. But that's where we settle, sit, sit right now. Let's go to the note and bond market and take a look at the notes and bonds, okay? So you take a look at the note and bond market, what you have inside there. Yesterday, you come down hard and fast. Let's bring this up. The volume didn't explode like it should have. That This is, you know, we did two point five million contracts, but that's still not a lot of contract volume when we were going up on 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3.1, 3
three point yeah three three we had we had a couple threes in there okay so today it's a 1.69 this here we're already inside the larger range again the larger range is 109 20 109 23 we hit 109.17 yesterday so I suspect what this is going to do, this is going to build more cars to what? To go higher once again. Now, the dollar did exactly a 0.618 retracement of its whole move down. You know, right to the tick, too, which is really wild, man. So check this out. So a little above, actually. Yeah, just fairly above it. Okay, so we had... Uh, you're below it right now, but you can see what happened. You went into the monster downdraft that was out here from November. You did the 0.618. The real question is going to be, what does this dollar want to do? And then we go to the gold market. So what happened with the gold market? They destroyed the gold market yesterday, the gold contract price. That comes down hard and fast. Now, what's going to be interesting here was this just the blowout bottom inside gold. The reason I'm saying that, you can see that the, the expansion of price our volume was huge. What we also did is that it wanted to test this 2007.60. Now we did that, but you can see right now we're still at 2004. So you want, if you're in the gold market, you want this to be above 2007.60. You know, there's another range down below there, but that's the number. Now what we did out here today is that, yeah, we rejected lower price. We'll see if we get any juice in, inside of it. You know, and you, you, we'll go from there. You know, the the NQs are the same setup. Actually, let's do the Qs. You're going to see the, the Qs are the exact same setup as the S&P. So the Qs came down hard yesterday. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't make it either. They didn't make it. Uh, what the Qs did do, though, this is interesting. Yeah, we'll be right back. We're going to talk about these cues as soon as we come back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 74. Nasdaq's up 137. S&P's are up 29. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're